Alright guys, it is time to leave our trusty little glamping pod. You have served as well, but it is time. If I can shut the door, it is time to go home. Alright, good morning and welcome back to another video. We checked out of our accommodation this morning, but we're going to get one more ride in before we make the big long journey back north. I'm out on my own today. Monica's out on her own, the reason is because I've got a pretty specific two hour session and so has she, so instead of like riding together and not doing our sessions properly, we just both have just ridden out separately. I planned the route on Strava this morning, I don't really know where it's going, I just tried to aim for the country roads which around here isn't too hard to find, I mean look at it, it's just the whole area is just countryside. It's another absolutely mega day down here man, I'm out in shorts and jersey, it is currently 20 degrees, a little bit of wind but it doesn't matter. This morning I'm doing a two hour session with two like 20, 25 minute efforts. They consist of over unders, so like sprints into a zone four effort, back into sprints. A fairly hard session, kind of a crit, kind of a session that replicates a, like replicates a crit. So that's the plan today. I completely got my judgment wrong, by the way. I said in my last video that Norfolk was pretty flat. Yeah, it's not flat. Norfolk ain't flat. Don't know where I got that preconception from, but it's not flat. <laughs> Just following this old line on my wahoo and it's gonna, gonna guide me around this route. I got how many left? 59k left to go. 59k in two blocks of efforts. Let's do this. All right, and that is the first set of over under sprints done. They were hard. They weren't too bad like in the first five or 10 minutes and then after that, they got they got pretty hard. It's just that repeating, that repeating sprint effort always uh, just kills me, kills me off man. But the roads around here, around, around Norfolk, around Kings Lynn or wherever, wherever the hell I am. They're perfect for efforts, man. Like literally perfect. All right, there's a car there, but there's not too many cars around. And all of the roads just straight like this. It's like literally dead straight for five, five, six miles a time. Which if, just, if you're just cruising around, I don't know, that might get a little bit boring. But when you got efforts like me today and the hard efforts, you just like get your head down, you're out of the saddle sprinting and there's no inter like, there's just no interruptions. No cars that you could ride into, like you got your head down. Perfect, perfect roads for doing efforts and intervals. Like if I just zoom out here, it's just all straight. I mean, we're gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna hook a right in a little bit, but other than that right turn, you know, it's just it's just straight. So I'm gonna roll around now for about half an hour until I get to about one hour thirty, and then I'll start the last the last set of efforts. A few moments later. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say about that. That was horrible. That was the hardest session I've done in a in a long while. It's weird, like, I always find that I can go harder in racing than I can in uh, in training. Like that, for those two 25 minute blocks of crit efforts, we'll call them, was like, oh, black cat. Is that, is that a good look or bad look? I don't know. I'm not superstitious anyway, but yeah, like those two 25 minute crit, crit efforts, like my power was, like my power was decent, but it wasn't as high as what it would be in like a race. and. Like I was on the rivet then, like properly going for it. Yeah, I just feel like, I just find that I can go harder in, when I've got that race incentive. I think that's pretty standard, having that, having that like incentive and that stimuli of the race. But anyway, I'm waffling. That hurt, <laughs> that hurt. I finished, finished the effort about five minutes from the campsite. So I'm just gonna uh, use these five minutes to recover, to breathe, to bring my heart rate down. But yeah, guys, what a ride here in Norfolk. I think this is like the second or third village that I've ridden through. And the vibe that I get from around here is, it's like, it's just so like sleepy. I mean, there's plenty of houses and there's plenty of cars, but like, there's not a whole load of people. I've not seen like many people. I kind of get that vibe when I'm riding through Spain on Mallorca and like, you just ride through one of those little villages and there's no one there. Oosh, bang on two hours. 34.4k average speed for the entire ride. I had a normalized power of 292. And we're back at the campsite. And there is Monica. She beat me back. Hey! <laughs> How's your ride? Good, you? How was, yeah, good. How was the route? Good. Did I do a good job? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got back from our ride, had a shower and stuff, and 
I just posted yesterday's video live and like I'm just scrolling through the comments as the video's gone live. You guys that are commenting like first, first, like first view, first like, like I love that stuff. So what I decided, what I'm going to do is like I've got a whole load of new uh, CJ socks at home, the Pongo ones. They sent me out another box of like 20 or 30 of them that I've got nothing to do for. And also last week, Wahoo has sent me like a care package full of socks, full of hats. Uh, I've got t-shirts in there, some bidons. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm not going to do it every day because it would just get it would just get daft because I upload a video every day and I just can't physically track doing a giveaway every single day. But every like two, every three days maybe, uh, I'm gonna do it at complete random. I'm gonna be giving away things just randomly to the people that comment first on the video. So you guys that, that, that click on the videos, I've got notifications turned on as the video goes live at 4 p.m. and you, you comment like, my name's Jeff or whatever you wanna comment on, on the video. Whoever's first, like at random times, I will just, I'm just gonna message, like reply to those comments and just say like, congratulations, you've worn a pair of socks. Like it's as easy as that. All you gotta do is just be the first comment. So make sure you click the bell, you click the subscribe button and then you click the bell and then as the video goes live, you leave a comment. I love seeing that you guys, like I love seeing you guys like fighting each other for the first comment. So I wanna try, I wanna bring this kind of competitive spirit and give you guys something for it, you know, in, in, term, in terms of a reward. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for the foreseeable future and we'll see how it goes. All right, it's time to leave. Bye! Bye! You know what I think we should do? I think what would be cool is to like go to different places in the country like to ride and stuff and stay in one of those camping pods. So let us know. <laughs> <laughs> let us know in the comments down below where we should go ride into in the UK. Bye everybody! Bye! I like that Range Rover. <laughs> Alright, well, we're not in a rain driver, so. Alright, a little bit of an update. We've been driving for a couple of hours. We're in Chesterfield right now, and it is raining. Standard. Mon's there watching yesterday's vlog. And uh, we need fuel. So, we're gonna try and find somewhere in Chesterfield to get some food. Also, the bike is on the roof. Get in. Absolutely drenched. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to clean it when I get home, aren't I? I thought that I won't cram the bike into the car. I just put it on the roof because the weather's good today. It's not going to get wet on the roof. It's going to be fine. And then it, the heavens, the heavens opened, and it's like it's literally pouring down outside. I saw a comment in my video yesterday. One of you guys said, "Like you show rain in every single video. Does it rain every day in England?" Pretty much. Hey, look at this lady with her umbrella. This is just a standard, standard apparel for the UK. This guy just forgot his though. He's, he's getting a little bit wet. He's not happy. He's not happy. I said not to bring my coat out. She said it was gonna be sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Found a filling station, filling up the whip of my bike on the roof there is, oh my God, it makes me so sad. Man, look at the chain. It's gonna need a clean when I get home. England, why do you always have to rain on us? And today's grand total, 54, 55 pounds. <laughs> and after four, hours of driving four and a half hours i think we're back we're back home we're back in the office guys and the reason i turned the camera on right now is because is because i've received the delivery yep standard cameras received the delivery but this time this time it is something for me personally like it's not from a brand it's not from anything it's like for me so as you guys know, uh, as you guys know, or as you guys may know, like at the end of each season, but like before I start a new season, I, I launch, I've launched a t-shirt. First off was like CJ logo T, just in, in, in white. And then for the second season after the British national, uh, E-National champs, I had made the original CJ t-shirt, but with uh, the CJ inside a Union Jack, which looked pretty sick. Now to end season three and to start season four, which has started you know a couple of weeks ago, we got a new, we got a new design inside this bag, guys. Now I started to spice things up. I'm, I'm just gonna open it and jump into it. Uh, I started to spice things up a little bit and go for something, for a start, go for a different colored t-shirt other than, other than white. But also something a little, a little bit more graphic. I kind of had this idea, uh, I've had this idea for a while and I finally, you know, I've had the opportunity to be able to put it onto a t-shirt. So straight off the bat, we've got a white t-shirt and we've got a black one. I'm just gonna straight up strip off and, and try them on for you guys. So this is, uh, first off, I reckon we're gonna try, I think we're gonna try the white t-shirt. Excuse my pale bare body, but here we go. This 
is it. It is the uh, the usual CJ logo, but inside, but around the logo, we've got this like we've got chains inside a square. I think it's pretty sweet, man. Like I don't know what you guys think, but I thought like, I rate this. I, I, it's just like the plain logo with the with the uh, with the chains around it. You know, I think it stands out pretty nicely, like with the chains, but like close up. But then from afar off. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty understated. Uh, so this is the white one, and I'm gonna stick the black one on. Like I feel, I don't know, I don't know what I prefer. Like I thought I was gonna prefer the the, the, the black t-shirt, but I don't know if I don't know if I prefer the black or the white. I mean, I think they both look pretty. I think they both look pretty sweet. So hopefully you can see that pretty well, guys. On the camera, I'm just gonna crouch down a little bit. This is, uh, yeah, I won't do that. But this is the exclusive season three, season end of season three uh, t-shirt. You know guys from the last two rounds that these things don't like they don't last. They just do limited runs and once they're gone, they're gone forever. So you know that original CJ t-shirt, you're never gonna be able to get it again. It was a season one round. This is round number three or season number three. I think this t-shirt is now live on Teespring. So if you wanna if you wanna get yourself one, uh, I'm gonna put a link to the t-shirt in the description box down below. And if you want one guys, whether it's a white one or a black one, just send me a DM on Instagram asking for the discount code. And I'll give you guys an exclusive discount, discount, this an exclusive discount code for the season three T. Mate, I'm I, I like this. I was thinking of just doing another plain T-shirt, and I was like, you know what? Let's get a little bit creative. And you know, obviously, like, it's not too out there. It's not like crazy kind of graphic or crazy outlandish. But you know, I think I wanted to do something that kind of looks good. Like it's a graphic tee, but it's it, like it doesn't stand out too much, and it's still pretty understated. And I think I think I've done a pretty good job. So if you want to go and get yourself one, if you want to cop yourself one, send me a DM and head over to the link in the description, and uh, I'll get you guys a code. That is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Pretty sweet adventure. Also, let me know in the comments down below where should I check out in the UK? Like where else should I go? I want to ride my bike in Scotland, and I want to ride my bike in South Wales somewhere. But uh, let me know where you think the best places in the country are to ride a bike and me and Monica will find a glamping pod and we'll come and check out that, that area. But that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, guys, from me and Lexi. We'll see you all tomorrow at the same usual time of 4pm. Peace!